Guys, I'm going to be that guy and talk about something that not many people want to talk about, and that is damage glitches within the Division 2. These huge exploits that are creating a lot of disharmony within the community, uh, whether it be right or for wrong. We need to talk about these today, and of course, I need your input and your information. Communication is integral. It really is. Again, hopefully, Massive do get to watch this video, because it does. It does does really resonate with the majority of the community. So as always, if you enjoy it, please like it, thumbs up, thumbs doodle, that does help me and this channel. It gives me a little bit of traction. Also, if you enjoy the content, then please subscribe for more. Let's do this. Guys, damage glitches. I posted this in my community thread yesterday, just asking the question. And as you can see, 31% said yes, 69%, which are quite overwhelming, said no. Now, I didn't go into much detail with this post. And I just wanted to put it out there just to see how the community are resonating with this particular topic at present. Now, if you do a simple search on YouTube now for The Division 2, you will see the first five videos are how to get a particular holster from WIDS. And then you'll see four other videos from other guys that are producing content based on the fact they are glitching. Exploits, cheating, as some may say. Now, these kind of videos, is it something you want to expect on the channel? If it's a yes, then, guys, you won't. I am not a glitcher, I'm not an exploiter, nothing like that. And I don't produce any content that shows you how to do so. I never have and I never will. Now, I'm not saying that these content creators are in the wrong at all. What I am saying is the algorithm of YouTube is highly highly infectious and people are drawn like a moth to the flame in how to get and do these damage glitches because they will make me breeze walk through this content of heroics and legendaries and getting new fantastic loot exotics awesome high ends max rolls and again you have a better chance of getting these in harder content so so guys yes we have a problem and not to mention again there are leaderboards and when, when there is a leaderboard, that means there is an exploit. So an exploit that has been utilized by quite a few members of the community. And as you can see, there are some people that are really, really pushing the boat out with some of these scary numbers. Doing heroic content in seven minutes is just nigh on impossible. And yet people are doing it because they're utilizing the exploits that are currently within the game. These have been patched already, but they are back with a bang, and now more and more people are using these exploits. I have been in many groups that have done this, and yeah, it's not fun. It is not fun at all. Some people, again, they're utilizing it because they want to just cakewalk the content, get as much loot as possible, and carry on. Now, for some, you will enjoy that. I get it. Completely understand, and some, like myself, will not really enjoy it because... I'm not a glitcher, I don't exploit, I don't do any of that. So with these videos that content creators are producing, they are taking the traffic, they are taking the traction, uh, they are taking everything at present. Again, they're growing their channel. There's a, amount, a, a huge amount of growth that they will get from doing these types of videos because people on the whole want to see this. And that's frustrating for people like me and other content creators because when they do honest genuine content that's gonna help them with builds and help them with you know just discussions and again we can share information and that's what I want I want that kind of platform for my channel in particular as a as a breeding ground for positivity then these channels will not flourish in today's YouTube algorithm and that's where we as the honest genuine content creators and you know who you are you watch my content you know what it's all about and I will call it however I see it. There is a problem. There is a genuine problem. So what is Massive going to do about it? Because, guys, you really need to get your finger out and sort this before it's too late. Guys, what are you going to do about the leaderboards? The leaderboards that people have put effort and time into and just churning out, honestly, may I add, honestly putting the time and effort into... And others are just steamrolling because they're utilising this glitch. There's been talk of banning 
players. There's been talk of punishing players. Now, I'm not a keen believer in banning anyone unless they are a cheat. And they utilise this in PvP. You use this in PvP, don't be that guy. Really don't. But people still will. They will exploit it in PvP and hopefully they get caught, they get found out and they get their due reward. Now again, people are using this on the most part for PvE in terms of legendaries. And again, that defeats the object of just getting that build and earning that right to have the nice, awesome min-max build to compete in legendaries. Now people are just taking the piss and just rinsing through the content. So that's that's a problem. So Massive have that issue on their hand. How are they going to fix this? I don't blame them. I think it is what it is. If they want to do that, they can do that. I don't have a problem. When there are leaderboards, when there are rewards attached to leaderboards, you have that competitive nature within us all because we are human beings. That's what we are like. So we have an issue. So guys, there is a problem. We really need to fix this. We genuinely do. And again, when you go on YouTube, you see all these videos of, of how to glitch and how to this and how to do that. It's just frustrating. But one thing I do want to add, you may or may not have seen this, but this is quite contradictory. I did see a post from Nothing But Skills that did say that people should be banned. Or they should go back to their day one character. I disagree with that. 110% unless it's been used in PvP. If it's in PvE, it is what it is. It's Massive who are at fault. It is. They have utilised many means to try and fix these glitches, they're still there. So people will exploit them. It's human nature. It will happen. Whether I agree or disagree, that's the nature of the beast. Massive have the issue. Massive have made another mistake, ballsed up yet again. So they need to fix this. However, what does frustrate me quite highly as an honest, genuine content creator for The Division 2, that makes me question, what do I have to do to improve upon and become a better content creator. And then I see posts like this. From Nothing But Skills, yet again, that does say people should be punished for cheating and exploiting. And then we have the same guy who pays other content creators or creators to farm for him. Farm for exotics. And then utilize how-to videos. Guys, I disagree with this notion 110 bloody percent. This is not on. Now, I work 40, 45 hours a week. I am married. I have a teenage daughter. I have a dog. I have a cat. I am generally a very busy man. I find the time to produce content for YouTube. I do because I love what I do. Whether I'm the first to do a build video or I'm the last to do a build video, I couldn't give two hoots. It's not what I'm about. I'm just about producing honest content for people that resonate with me. And it is a very slowly growing community. I love every single one of you guys. I really, really do. Obviously, I want to grow. Obviously, I want this channel to take off. But you will not see dishonest content. You will not see exploit videos or glitch videos. It's not me. It's not how I work or operate as a human being. I'm an honest individual. And that's what you get from me and my content. As you will see from many other content creators who are struggling... The views and subscribers because these glitch videos of predominantly content creators that produce this time and time again. Not just new ones, ones that have done this throughout their content creation career. Guys, it's BS. I don't like it. And I'll call it out when I need to call it out. Whether you agree or disagree with this statement. We have an issue. Massive need to fix it, guys. Also, watch your favourite content creator. Watch their videos. Drop them comments. Drop them the thumbs up. I'm not just talking about me. I'm talking about people like Matt Guns, people like Kamikaze Von Doom, people like Division Addiction, and my man LDB Gaming. These guys produce honest content. Follow them. Watch their content. And support them. That's it, guys. Rant over. Let me know what you think in the comments section. As always, keep it constructive. Don't be that dick who's offensive because I will ignore you. There's no point. I'm all for, again, a nice communication banter. I'm always up for that. Definitely, guys. I am. But don't be that one comment I have to delete because it's happening more and more often now. 
So guys, as always, enjoy the video. Please give me that thumbs doodle. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my honest, genuine content. There you go. Guys, I will see you in the next one. And peace.